I'm thinking lately, like, do you ever get to the point where you're thinking, why would anyone watch what I've got to say or what I'm doing? Because there's only so many ways you can film artwork, and there's people with thousands of followers seeing the brush stroke go across the page, the pencil scribble. I'm at a point where I'm thinking, yeah, who would watch this? And yet, I love all the graffiti pictures, seeing the spray can control and seeing all the close-ups and the splatter and the... I mean, I've got a slight love affair with paint anyway. I love the layers and the paint splatter and the drips. But I was thinking, like, there must be others, other artists who love watching that, seeing the process. But when I'm filming, I'm thinking, like, is this entertainment? And you know, this reminds me of the Imagine Dragons song, it says entertaining, the Bane song, which I'll put the lyrics in the description. Um, but I'm getting a little bit like a solution because with my past videos, I had to finish an artwork, like create a big project, and I didn't have as much on back then. And now I'm doing more. It's difficult to film and do the art, and the art is going from strength to strength. And you know, I'm quite confident in my artwork, and I'm always trying to improve and tweak it. The videos, on the other hand, I feel like I'm maybe being that annoying person who's at the beginning of that journey and just complaining about everything because I want to be able to be better now and I need to do the practice and learn. But I am thinking, like, what makes a good art video? What makes it? How it is the way you edit it in the story, but how do I do that? And I need to find, I need to find some videos of you know, how to film make, how to story tell. Uh, I think I might just do some research and figure out what shots other people use, not to copy them, but just to figure out uh, the pacing and to figure out how I could incorporate that as an art video. I could watch Casey Neistat's vlogs and think, okay, it starts with a juxtaposition. You know, you're not expecting it to start there, then a time lapse, then, and I could apply something similar to my art. I need to just reanalyze other people's videos in that manner but watching me paint it doesn't look like much i do have a lot of energy in the way i create and i'm a lot more um rapid in my movements than others perhaps particularly if it's like a two minute five drawing pose i just you know pens are going everywhere but at the moment i feel like i'm in this little kind of pocket on planet earth in this one bedroom flat and i don't feel like my story is really like what do i say about it i've i guess i'm losing momentum since maybe i'm having post up first post north street gallery blues maybe i had a lot of momentum and now i'm applying for things and having to um yeah figure out what's next so maybe that's it, or maybe because I've been doing YouTube for a while and I haven't really seen, there's you know, it's quite a number of you. If you all were to, you wouldn't be able to fit, you know, 316 people, a lot of people. So I am very thankful for everyone who is following me on all the platforms. And it's just in the grand scheme of things when you see other, other people's success, like, oh, I did it for two years. So, you know, it took a long time, but I've got 75,000 people now and or whatever it is. And, um i don't like need numbers but i want to have interaction and community and uh, more in the comments so i get a few now and again which is really you know really gives me a, a morale boost um so i'm not complaining i just i'm, I'm wondering if it's like a secret formula that is you see people like drawing with waffles who they they always show their hands they always do the same kind of thing but you know different but the same and I don't know if I could do that, but I want to at least find something, a few little things that I can know work. And apart from time lapses, I don't really know how to break into this video thing. 
And also my ideas have run out a bit. I'm, I'm actually got a lot going on in the personal life in terms of started ADHD medication. So I've got less ideas in my head, but I've got enough to do a game with painting, but I just haven't figured out the video. But I think that was kind of slowing down before the medication anyway. So I think it just coincided out of coincidence, I think. Um, and it's certainly not more creative than the last attempt at medicating whatever this is. But actually, when I went on medication, I realized actually I did have a lot of difficulty around getting things done and keeping the balance between housework and artwork and business side and social life. And yeah, it's just a lot. And I was struggling. So it, it is helping, but it's a, an adjustment. And I mean, the, yeah, the, the water one was painted while on the medication and that's very free and like my usual thing. And the dog was too, which was yeah very quick. So um yeah, I am painting, maybe not as often as I was, but just I've got a lot of editing and videos in my head. So what makes a good video? Probably not this one, but I need to get through that barrier of wondering if it's any good. And I love the quote by Andy Warhol, which says, you know, don't, don't worry about whether it's good or bad, let them decide and continue making art. And I think the only thing that I use as a measuring tool to check whether art or the video is any good is am I in the moment and the videos I don't feel like I am just yet I want to be able to share things that I'm proud of and that there's not really a lot happening apart from getting prepared for the BS5 art trail which I could start showing some of the art I'm doing for that again I just haven't felt in, a, in the right headspace to do so is I want to create a lot of little miniature originals, but it'll be filming a lot. And um, yeah, we'll see how we go with that. And I might bring it along on the ride with me, but I want to keep the art very much a sacred thing and to be meditative and focused and in the moment rather than thinking, oh, that's a good shot for the, you know, for the video and not really thinking about the artwork so much. Um, and I think the art suffers as, as a result because. Art is a series of mistakes and building and building. And if I'm trying to get a good shot and then trying to read, it just doesn't always work. I've got some good videos out there and I'll list a few of them in the comments and things. But yeah, you, I never know how they're going to turn out and you, you end up in that zone, that sweet spot. And I haven't found myself in that zone for quite a few months now. And I just want to paint. That's the, I'm going back to the art classes. I'm learning, I'm trying to get better at the actual artwork which is what brought me to youtube in the first place but i do want to get more comfortable with the whole filming and editing side of things the talking on video will get easier but it's more the shots and what i decide to keep in that i need to really work on so i'm putting this out there because i'm wondering you know is there anyone else who's been doing youtube for a little while but feels like they just can't quite suss what what they want their videos to be like. I don't know, I was really excited for this year and YouTube and sharing my artwork and everything, but it just feels that I just want to paint and I don't want to necessarily have to think about the camera every time. So there's a few artists that I know who well, I know of on YouTube, like uh, Ravi Was Here Studios, um, A.O. Aimer, who I spoke to on the podcast recently. Um, you very much talk to the camera, but they've got a presence and they edit it well. And I maybe don't have that, or at least not yet. So I want to get to the point where I can just talk about a subject in the studio. TV's in the in, in the way, but um, yeah, this is mirrored, so left is right and right is left, so it's been confusing. Um, but it means that the the artworks are the, are the right way up. Look, I'm looking over the artworks. And yeah, I am looking the right way. Um, so what, what I wanted to say was, I'm amazed by different artworks, how what you think isn't any good, someone else would love. And it's the same with videos, I'm hoping, guessing. Um, yeah. You, 
you, because you've been so close to it, you don't really know, you know, how other people see it. And therefore, it, I'm hoping the intention comes across that, you know, you're not alone when you're thinking about, you know, is this, is this, you know, aesthetically pleasing? Is it helping someone? Is it a good message? Is it, you know, fun to watch? Is it, does it give some sort of value? And it's very difficult to put a price on that, you know, that value, whether when you've, you know, when you're the one who's made it. So all I would say is keep creating because I need to, like, my own advice gets the other side and more ideas will present themselves. So keep creating, keep going through that comfort zone, take a break if you need to, and let's see what we can make.